Hi folks, thanks for tuning back in or tuning in for the first time on my channel. I'm your video host, I'm Duke. I'm out here in the Houston, Texas area and, and really what I'm going to do today on this video is show you about 8 or 10 different floor plans on the Keystone Bullet. There's my contact information. I'll show that to you again. Now, it's in the description down below. It's my text. But this is the 23RB. All these are going to be bullets. This is a bullet premier. And the RB stands for rear bath. This is a couples coach. You see that leaf is out right there. So I'll tell you what it doesn't have. It doesn't have a dinette. But it, you can put TV trays in this one. It's got high-end theater seating. Very comfortable recliner. And a TV right across from it. So if that's something you have at home and you spend a lot of your time at night just kind of relaxing on your recliner... Uh, this is your home away from home, and it is uh, a luxury couples coach. It's got the RB, the rear bath. Let's take a look at that. It's a corner shower. And there is, well, you know what that is. I don't have to tell you what everything is. Uh, that's a storage area. There's a lot of storage in that one right there. So, uh, lots of, you see the floor space, the radius ceiling. This is very open. It's, it's, uh, the luxury is that it's, it's very comfortable. With the subway tile motif in the kitchen uh, I'll make I've made a video on this one if you are interested just send me a text I'll send you a complete uh, video on this one so you've got a queen-size bed that you can walk around so if you get up in the middle of the night you want to go to the bathroom you don't have to climb over anybody if you get up in the morning you want to take a shower or something you can close this door one person still sleeping that'll work if you don't both get up at the same time it's a laundry chute. You can put a trash can down there into the pass-through area. There's your wardrobes and storage. Again, I'll, more details in the other videos. I'll make you a video if you have specific questions. But I just want to show you this floor plan. Now let's move on. We're going to go to a bigger one. Out here. Look at this glorious sunshine, man. This is nice. Nice and cool today. Uh, even on the freeway, it's beautiful out here. All right, so this is a bigger one, another Premier Ultralight by Bullet. This is the 30RI. So, this one, the coach is about 30 feet long, but the overall length is about 4 or 5 feet longer. And this is a very popular floor plan. It's been around for a while. It's been around for a while because it works. Here's the thing, if you see a new floor plan, uh, the... the there's not a lot of new ideas. There's only so many ways you can uh, put the furniture in a rectangular area. So the ones that work, there's a reason they stick around. People like them. This one has the opposing slides. They're big slides on the left side, or on my left side here, on the campground side, you've got the kitchen and pantry space right there. Try not to move the camera. Pantry space there and you have a entertainment system area there entertainment area with the big tv and then there's a fireplace down there electric fireplace then it's got an island nice fixture steel stainless stainless steel sink i can't talk but i'm still your friend right and here's my contact information i'm duke and i got high-tech graphics just i've been looking everybody else got these high-tech graphics look at me I'm catching up with everybody else and uh, I have I'm not going to do any editing there's your dinette there traditional table and chairs high-end theater seats so this is a slide over here that has the seating and dinette uh, sorry about the lighting there I'll try to do it from another angle so it doesn't look so bad I'm working on my videoing skills don't want to attract any trolls picking on me. Then in the back, you've got a sofa that fold, a uh, trifold sofa makes into a bed. So let's look at the coach from this end right here. This is the 30RI Bullet Premier. I will be happy to give you more information on that. Just send me a text. The fridge is over here when you first walk in the door. And then you've got a, uh, now right as you walk in the door, you can go to the right and go to the bedroom same similar bedroom on a lot of these bullets you've got the wardrobe and storage area the uh, laundry chute you've got the uh, corner shower stainless seal 
base in there, well positioned toilet. So this is the 30RI Premier. Oh look, there's still storage right there. So again, uh, I'll do, I've done other videos on this one. I'll be happy to send you a link to or make you a custom video, answer any questions you have. Just send me a text. I'm, I'm a same guy before or after the purchase, even if you don't buy from me. I try to treat people right. I like RVs and I don't want to disappoint you if you uh, are friendly to me. Have simple questions, looking for help on an RV. I will be your buying assistant. I will try to help you. Like I was looking, okay, this is the same floor plan. I'm not gonna show it to you because you just looked at it. All right, so this one is a bunkhouse. You can tell by the uh, windows right there. It's a bullet ultralight. And uh, this is the 330 BHS. It's a bunkhouse slide is what that stands for. So if you want a couple of bunks, this is a bunk room. So I'm standing in the bedroom door looking out. And you can see it's got a dinette and a sofa bed right here. Very Still, that's the high-end furniture Thomas Paine collection. That slide out is the dinette and trifold sofa. Again, opposing slides here. Got the island. There's the kitchen there. So anytime you have a bunk room, which this has, you're going to give up a little bit of space, but these opposing slides help make up for it. I'll get to the bunk room in one second. Again, the same bathroom configuration, corner shower. We just showed you, or I just showed you, the uh, same setup in the bedroom as these other bullets, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. So let's take a look at what makes this one more unique. Uh, I don't know if you can be more unique. You're either unique or you're not. So I'm in the bunk room. Large bunks with windows on two sides, and then there's another window here. So you're not boxed in here. It's very open. It has a USB portal or connection on. You can charge your cell phone right there. Uh, be very comfortable. Have a view. Uh, you can be up to 6'2". Uh, I think it's 74 inches from the window over here to right there. Uh, if somebody's really tall, they could hang their feet over the end, but adults can sleep here. If you're over 6'2", well, that's what you get for being tall. I'm not, I don't hold a grudge on things like that, but uh, I'm not a jealous person. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. All right, sorry about that. So this has a half bath. That's what you tuned in for. You didn't tune in here about what I think about it. Okay, you got some closet space there. So let's just take a look at that. And I'll do a more detailed video. So you actually got some room to keep some stuff here. Look at that. That is storage space there. So two adults could fit here. A place to hang up a towel. A half bath. 330. BHS. Again, there's no, uh, the lighting's not perfect here. There's not going to be a bunch of edio editing of the video, but we do have some high-tech graphics. This looks more realistic. It takes a lot of work to do graphics like that. I had to go to school for like, I went to kindergarten and first grade. I spent years getting where I could do that. I don't know if anybody else spent that much time on it. That's my cell number, sorry. I'm going to... Yeah, if I'm going to edit anything, I'll edit that part out. So, uh, we're going to go on to the next one. Uh, going down these solid steps. Grabbing that grab handle there. So, we're just looking at a few different ones. This has a door in the back also. It goes into that bathroom. I didn't show you that. So, the uh, 330BHS has two doors. There's stairs that fall down right there. A small outdoor kitchen. I'll do a... a detailed video on this one for if you like all right now we're looking at the 250 250 BHS you gotta make an adjustment on that door I could edit that out but if you're here on the lot it wouldn't get edited so you're right here with me this is a bunkhouse 250 means it's probably the coach itself is about 25 feet then you add another four feet or so uh, for the hitch so let's take a look again. Very similar in the bedroom on most of these so far. 
You've got the wardrobes, the queen bed that you can walk around. That's pretty uh, much the same on most of these. This one is different. It's got a U-shaped dinette. Try to get away from that glare. Not high tech, but at least I want to use a little bit of common sense here. So this U-shaped dinette, here, this is what you want to look for in a U-shaped dinette. When you look at this part right here in the middle, you want it to have some depth to it. That's what's a big deal because you can actually sit there. There's some of these U-shaped dinettes, it's very shallow right there. And if, if that's your main piece of furniture, that's important. So uh, this one actually is, I'm gonna sit down in it just real quick. I'm gonna slide around to the back side. Now this table, you can take it out of here. Yeah, this is comfortable. Like if I'm sitting here watching TV, barking out orders at everybody. You can see the kitchen, you got room for people. So somebody could sit right here. Somebody could sit next to me. Somebody could sit right there. Four people comfortably, this table's on backwards. This beveled part of it goes uh, the other way. But uh, this now the other thing that's nice about a U-shaped dinette, let's say you've got uh, five adults or five large sized people, teenagers, growing kids. Well, this one has those bunks that'll hold somebody up to six feet too comfortably. But this U-shaped dinette is much, it's longer than a traditional dinette and an adult, can, this will convert into a bed. That table will drop down and you put those cushions there and it's a comfortable bed. So if you need a little more sleeping area, that's the, beautiful, the beauty of the U-shaped dinette. There's a little storage underneath it. You've got the uh, corner bath back here. This bath is a little different than the ones we've been looking at. It's got a little tub down there and a shower. Uh, just keeps the water. You put that curtain there. keeps water from getting all over. So you've got a bunk area here. And then there's a curtain. I kind of like, I think this curtain is important because what it does is if you've got somebody sleeping there and you're getting up in the morning they may hear you but you're not making eye contact with them uh, making them feel it's just more relaxing when you, when they're let them wake up at their own pace everybody's on vacation even in the bunk so just a, some limited privacy there but it, it is very functional privacy you're getting up making some coffee Say, hey, what do y'all want some for breakfast? I'm going out to that outdoor kitchen. I'm going to make some bacon and eggs. We're having a good time here. That's what it's all about. Everybody wants to enjoy their life and make memories. That's what you can do. So we're going to move on. This one right here is the 250 BHS bunkhouse slide. So the, this one has a U-shaped dinette. I'll make a more detailed video inside and out. Just send me a text. I'm happy to do it. There's a little pantry there. I kind of like this little door that opens on the bottom place. You can put some flip-flops and store shoes there. And I'll sit here when you come in. I've got an RV myself. So some of this stuff I've learned from experience. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here on the lot today. Talking to you. I like RVs. I love the RV lifestyle. It's got a big awning there. It's where you're going to spend most of your time. Right out here. Uh, so there's more features on that one I'd be happy to go with. So this is, next one here is the 221 RBS. So RB, what we're learning so far today, this is about 22 feet long, not counting uh, the rest of the stuff, the trailer hitch and stuff. So it's four or five feet long. And that RB is rear bath and the S is a slide. So there's your slide right there. It's got a fridge and again, try to do better camera work and it's got these uh, Thomas Paine theater seats I'm trying not to get the it's got a window there I'm gonna close this blind it may be a little darker but uh, it's just interfering with my uh, cinematography today I don't want any trolls picking on me there's a lot of things you can do in life going around on the internet and making anonymous insults if that's the box you want to click off, I don't want to interfere with that. It doesn't. All right, so let me stick with what I'm doing. Here we go. You got the theater seats here. Got a fridge. That's what's on the slide. Then the RB. That's the rear bath. 
So uh, back here is the rear bath. It's got similar to the other bullets. Got a uh, the toilet there, corner shower. There is the uh, so it's a functional bathroom. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this uh, line here a little bit so we can see this. There is a little. I don't know exactly what you would do with that. There's a lot of storage there. You, when you know the in reality, when you're out camping, what you'll find is I'm sorry about this. Uh, this is some real world stuff. No editing. So when you're out camping, one of the things you find in your in your coach is that uh, you got stuff and you start putting stuff and it gets you know just putting stuff down. It gets cluttered. You need a place to set something. That's actually very functional. You got a space you could set something here. You could put your phone, your keys, your friendly handgun, uh, your hat, uh, whatever it is. You got a puppy. You don't want him to get your fishing lures that you're working on. You can do it up there. Whatever it is, it's depending on what you like. So there's storage right there, and that's deep storage. I'll do a complete product demo on this one for you. I, I may have already done one. So here's the kitchen. Again, no dinette in this one, but it's very open. You can use TV trays or a table. Plenty of room. You might eat outside. Look at all that floor space. That's the luxury of this one. There's a little table right there. Place to put your drink. Eating on paper plates. A little TV tray. I like the TV trays. You could use them inside and out. Okay, so this one, this is the 220... Uh, the 220 BHS, so it's about 22 feet long, and not counting, that's the coach, that's not counting the extra trailer hitch and stuff, uh, and this isn't official, it's just kind of generally how they do it, so this one is probably about 26, 27 feet, I can look up the specs, I'm not trying to go over all that right now, uh, but there's no wall right here between the bed, there is a, uh, you could put a curtain up, but this is really, uh, if there was a wall and say a customer wants a separate room for the bedroom there's pros and cons you're gonna need a bigger coach because if there's a wall right here this area right here would stop right here and it would be a little bit claustrophobic it'd be okay but this just opens it up you could put a curtain up there if you wanted to it's got the radius roof so this is a, a very nice travel trailer there's your TV up there there's pros and cons. I'm not trying to sell you any of these. I'm, and this bedroom is the same as what we've looked at. It's got the same configuration, queen bed. You can get around it. Lots of space. You don't feel boxed in. Uh, so it's open. The windows are closed right now, but uh, or the blinds are. So we're going to move on to the next one. This is another RB, rear bath. So depending on what you're looking for, uh, this could be perfect for you. Kind of what I like to do is just help you find the right one. I don't want to try to talk you into anything. Okay, here's another bunkhouse, 290 BHS bunkhouse with the slide, 29 feet plus another four or five feet is your overall length. Same bedrooms. So, oops, I'm okay, everybody. You don't have to call 911. I didn't fall over. Same bedroom, same queen bed, all that. Now. This one, what's nice about it, it's got those two sliding doors that open up in it. Uh, just what I was talking about in the last one, how it kind of closes it up when the, when you got a wall. Well, that one you can close it up if you want, or you can open it up for that big open feel and give you a lot of length right here in your coach. So this one, the 290 BHS, it's got the traditional dinette and the uh, that table it doesn't have legs on it you can just raise and lower it uh, mechanically there so you have a little bit more room for your feet makes into a bed for a small person those are for smaller people let me close this blind so i can uh, not get the glare there all right so you've got the nice theater seats right there directly across from the tv and uh, then you've got the bunks back here similar bunks to what we've been looking at remember this one is the 29 290 bhs so it's 29 feet or so plus uh another four or five feet for the hitch and the spare tire uh the sun's coming in there so it's not really great camera work but those are really the same they're 74 inches that means you can be six foot two you got you got a window i'm going it's a glare but 
you got two windows you got the USB connection so it's very and then there's a little cubby there so whoever's up there you can put your phone whatever if it's an adult all your regular stuff be comfortable have access to a bathroom there's a door right there so the nice thing about this floor plan is kids coming in and out or guests their people are staying with you uh, they've got some uh, a way to get in and out access their area underneath here you could store things uh, if you want to so that's an, something I kind of haven't really showed on all these but it's there you could put duffel bags there underneath there so where are you gonna keep your stuff I think just each person should have like their own duffel bag slide it there you got all your toiletries all your individual underwear shirts t-shirts and clothes anything that need to be hung up you can work that out but it's very functional if you just plan it out right so this one has a bathroom back here in this corner there's pantry space there so we're getting into about 20 minutes on the video I was trying to go faster I'm not going to edit this there's the stainless steel sink. I will do a custom video for you if you like this floor plan. That's the focus here. They all have kitchens. They all have sinks and microwaves and ovens. Most of them have ovens. Uh, just want you to see the floor plan. Again, this one is the 250 B, I'm sorry, 290 BHS. Sorry, 290 BHS. And this is how you can contact me. Just read these high tech graphics and I will contact you back with any uh with this i'll make a video custom for you there's a coat rack that i like there hopefully you'll like it don't matter what i like all right so we're gonna go to the next one this one's got the thermal package Thirty thousand btus i don't know how many btus you're looking for this one has thirty thousand. Now this is the 1850 RV. So this one is about 18 feet long, not counting the trailer hitch. So it's probably about 22, 23 feet. It's got the same bed configuration right there, queen bed. A little bit of a glare. I'm going to close these windows. If I'm talking too much, just turn it down. I would get the message. Okay, that makes it into a bed. That's a very comfortable seating area. It's a trifold sofa. So this is not a, it, this is a smaller RV, but you still have the bedroom right there, the same area. You just don't have a wall. You don't want a wall in this one, believe me. And this one comes with a table. It's a long table you could set up right there. You could put it outside on the campground area. Uh, it doesn't have the dinette. And there's your kitchen 1850 RB I'll do you a I'll make you a custom video on this one this one has the uh, fridge right back here some pantry space there same corner bath corner shower so you're starting to see the theme some of these components they just kind of interchange so this one has the counter space where if you wanted to, you could put a leaf right there. You just gotta watch out when somebody's getting in and out that it's down. Storage space. Okay, so we're moving on. This is an 1850 RB. Thanks for looking at it with me. We're gonna go on to the next one. Try to keep it moving and go ahead and wrap it up. We've already seen that one right there. That's the 221. I believe we've seen this one. Okay, this is a different one. This is the 258 RKS. We're gonna finish on this one. It's gonna stand for rear kitchen slide. It's about 25 feet, not counting. Look at that solid step, big grab handle. Get the 30,000, all the BTUs you need. If you need more than 30,000 BTUs, let me know. I'll see what we can do. So this one, uh, it is a rear kitchen. Again, it is the 258, so it means it's about 25 feet the coach itself and it's a rear kitchen so here's the fridge back here in the kitchen you've got window space there with those it's, it's kind of nice when you're in the kitchen to be able to look out the window when you're cooking uh, you know you're, you may be cooking but you're still wanting to enjoy the uh, camping experience see the sights 
So here, this one has the theater, same theater seats I've been talking about. I'm going to keep on repeating myself. Storage area down there. The TV's right across from it. Storage above there also. But this is a rear kitchen. 258 RKS. And it's got a really nice looking dinette. That's the Thomas Paine furniture. There's no legs on that table. It's hooked up to the wall. It gives you a little bit more leg room. Storage underneath those uh, booth seats. Makes into a small bed. And it's going to have a similar bathroom and bedroom that we've already been looking at. It's got the pass-through. Uh, corner shower same exact bedroom that we've been seeing where you have the the uh, wardrobes around there the USB and 110 on each side a laundry chute or you can put a trash can I kind of like the idea of putting a trash can there always that we can just grab it from the pass through so hey thanks for viewing my video uh, appreciate you coming along I, I know it's not great camera work but uh, if you stuck it out this far, I really appreciate it. This, uh, if you feel like it, give me a thumbs up. I'll appreciate that. There's my contact information. I will be happy to, and it's going to be down in the description below. Look, there's a little place there that you can uh, put a coffee pot if you want to. Instant pot. Something like that. So save your counter space for something else. And then uh, let's take a look. This is a... Uh, place with USB and 110 connection so there's a window right there that I didn't open up but again thanks for tagging along enjoy uh, looking at these I, I like RVs it helps me stay up on top of it uh, and so I'll get to share my training experience with you uh, learning as I'm demonstrating so so uh, not trying to fool anybody hey thank you again hope you're doing well and if you're thinking about uh, the RV lifestyle, something you're considering. I'm, I got into it about three years ago. I love it. It's been, it doesn't change, uh, you know, make all your problems go away, but it changes your perspective. You only live once. If you're not sure, you're never going to regret it. Uh, if you're thinking about traveling and changing what's going on, you cannot just keep doing the same thing. And if you're not happy with what's going on, you don't feel like you're looking for something more, do something different. And that's not just with RV. Don't just stay at a job you don't like. If you need, if you don't like where you're living, whatever it is, or something not, that you don't like, you only live once. Do what you want. And I tell you what, this one's got some nice windows in it. It is really nice just to wake up in a different place. It's, like I said, it doesn't make your problems go away, but it changes your perspective. And you know, here's something. You know, I like to watch these old movies. You know, one thing, you know, look, Rita Hayworth, Joan Crawford, Humphrey Bogart, all these people, you know, one thing that they all have in common is they're all dead now. All the stuff they worried about, it doesn't matter anymore. So, uh, to me, that's very relaxing to think about that. When I start getting stressed out, like, what difference does it make? Just, it's not just about enjoying life. It's, it's also having an enriching life where you... Do something positive for the people around you. And uh, so today's sermon, I'll tell you what, put your hands.